good day to everyone uh, this is rahul sivaguru from motor india uh, what we see here is uh, byds called uh, B- build your dreams uh, c lev uh, which belongs to the luxury electric vehicle segment this vehicle is priced at uh, 41 lakhs for the entry level uh, dynamic variant uh, 45.5 lakhs for the mid level premium variant and 53 lakhs for the top end uh, performance variant so what this pictures here is the middle variant uh, which is the premium one uh, which comes with a rear wheel drive setup paired to a single uh, speed uh, automatic gearbox mm. uh, which comes with a motor of uh, 312 horsepower and 36 kg of torque and this is paired with a 82.6 kilowatt hour uh, blade battery this follows the ocean aesthetics design language uh, where you can see the car is still connected to the ground uh, with uh, extremely short overhangs a long wheelbase of 2.9 uh, meters with wheels pushed to all the four uh, extreme corners with a very low slung profile the car uh, maintains a drag coefficient of uh, 0.0219 uh, which is succeeded by uh, mercedes eqs uh, by 0.202 and in terms of headlights this has a floating pattern of uh, led headlights uh, where, where uh, this provides uh, superb illumination at the night and in terms of the other assistant lamps here you can see this follows ocean ripple pattern which is similar to the wave pattern where you find in ocean and in terms of sensors this has parking sensors at the front and there behind the number plate you can see a camera which is for the 360 degree view of the uh, camera in terms of parking and when you fo- follow the side uh, the profile basically you see uh, 19 inches of alloy wheels uh, f- uh, tired by continental and the tire size is 235 by 45 uh, and 19 inches of radial tire this car is uh, loaded with nfc uh, where, which is very rare in these days this feature is commonly present in mobile phones uh, next comes the roof panoramic sunroof which is silver coated and this this is uh, ultraviolet rays up to 99% and here you can see some uh, what to say frameless wipers uh, which help in the sweeping all the uh, windscreen area and here you can see the adas sensor which is level 2 for this vehicle and inside present is the frameless iavm uh, in terms of the overall profile uh, to maintain the aerodynamics of the vehicle this vehicle is loaded with plus fit door, door handles which tends to pop up when you press the door unlock and lock keys and the electric mirrors are obviously adjustable and automatically foldable when you come to the rear end of the car you can see uh, the tail lights which is in a continuous uh, pattern which is the current trend of the industry uh, where you can see uh, this has uh, wave patterns which is similar to ocean uh, water droplets and in terms of uh, the overall uh, sensors present here here also you can see parking sensors and a reverse camera and this button is basically to access the boot of the vehicle where it is aut- electrically operated and this has a boot space of 400 liters uh, and in terms of the front since there is no engine obviously uh, 50 liters of trunk space is available and pressing this button will help you lock the boot automatically
so charging speeds is vital for any EVs. So in terms of the charging speeds, we have a 3 kilowatt uh, portable charger and a 7 kilowatt home charger which is coming with this vehicle. And in terms of DC speeds, I mean direct charge, fast charging speeds, this mid variant is capable of 110 kilowatt and the top variant which is the performance variant is capable of 150 kilowatt uh, fast charging. And uh, once a uh, fast charger is plugged to the vehicle, uh, you can charge the vehicle in below half an hour. And if you are using the home charger, you can charge the vehicle by 12 to 16 hours, uh, which is applicable to the portable charger also. And this can be done by plugging the charger to a normal uh, uh, 240 watt uh, plug, which you fi find in your parking or home space or work workspace, whichever is applicable. And in terms of the motor specification, which I said before, uh, it operates at the efficiency of 89% because say all the features pertaining to the EV, say the motor, motor controller, BMS is completely integrated into the powertrain. So which makes it a 18 to 1 powertrain package. So that results in 89% of uh, efficiency overall. And in terms of uh, the cooling, we have a heat pump integrated to the car. Uh, which helps in cooling the vehicle uh, when the op uh, vehicle is static and in moving in dynamic motion uh, which helps in operating range of minus 30 to 60 degrees so where uh, the car gets uh, i mean the motor gets cooled and the performance of the vehicle is uh, provided in a very consistent manner uh, so this uh, basically in effect gives 20% uh, more thermal efficiency and 20% of more range in winter so you can see uh, some uh, aero detailing in the alloy wheels of this car, uh, so which is not present in any IC vehicles because this is aero efficient pattern of alloy wheels where you can see plastic plates placed in between the rims of the vehicle to uh, defect further uh, wind from the tyres and reduce ro road noise indirectly. We can move to the interior of the vehicle. So in terms of safety features, the vehicle is loaded with, as mentioned before, NFC compatibility, nine airbags across the cabin, and what to say, ADAS level two suit, so which has uh, adaptive cruise control, autonomous emergency braking, and uh, it's intelligent adaptive 
torque control which in layman terms is traction control so this is among the uh, safety suit present in this vehicle and in terms of dimensions of the vehicle this vehicle is 4.8 meters in length uh, with a wheelbase of 2.9 meters and the height of the vehicle is 1.4 meters and to say the width of the vehicle is 1.8 meters but in com compared to the track this vehicle is having a even track of front and rear track of 1.6 meters which makes the vehicle evenly poised in the road during its presence in the road